Okay, we're back here today on the 18th of June in the field of sugar beet, as it is a sugar variety grown for fodder. Um, at this stage, the crop has been passed through four times with the sprayer, so we're finished our broadleaf weed herbicide program and our nutrition application. So we're where we'd like to be at the moment in terms of we have pretty much a spotless field in terms of weeds. Um, everything has been taken care of. The program we followed, as I would have said before, was we split the T1. We went with a 50% dose initially to go nice and kind on the beet, and we were back on day six as it happened with a 70% dose because the weeds were a little bit large at the start. Given the, the uneven germination we had because of the dry April, we were waiting for a few more beet to come up. Um, what we did then about 10 days later is we came with the final T2. And as planned, that was 1.5 litres to the hectare of Betano Max Pro. There was 1.5 kilos to the hectare of Galtix. There was a half a litre to the hectare of Enzar. And we actually only went with one litre to the hectare of Super Rapese because we were pretty much spraying what at the time was a, a clean field. There was a nod Sherlock a little bit large hanging on, but in essence, it was going to be taken care of by the effect of the split T1. So that basically sealed the ground finished our broadleaf weed control and as planned we came back about seven to ten days later with a dedicated nutrient spray and we also included the graminicide stratus ultra the field would not have a scutch problem but we treated the whole field at 1.5 litres to the hectare of stratus ultra to take out a low level of wild oats that would be present there'd also be a few volunteer wheat and barley and that tends to have arisen because of the level of um, organic matter through farmyard manure that we're spreading and just around the headlands we we have a gloss arable grass margin on two sides of the field and in the other two sides we just have the avenue up to the farm and there'd always be a little bit of encroachment of scutch coming from there so what we did was we left the headland until the very end and just on the very outside boom section of the sprayer we actually upped the rate of stratus ultra to three liters per hectare so we were getting a dose that would take out scutch so in that spray we eliminated any volunteer cereals we took out our scutch and we went with full rate of sulfur mag ally which this particular land has a requirement for we went with full rate manganese ally again that's specific to this farm and we went with three liters to the hectare of boar track 150. now at that point we also had previously put on three liters to the hectare of boar on over the the broadleaf weed herbicides the three applications we'd done so as we stand here today this field had no boar on applied in the granular fertilizer it was all applied and we now have two full rates gone on from a foliar perspective it has manganese it has magnesium it also got uplift to drive growth as much as possible and the old rule of thumb used to be a good crop of beet will be closed in the road by the 21st of June we're not going to be quite there and um, because of our slow start with the drought but overall I'm very happy with the crop so in essence we're finished in all weed control and nutrition we will come back again with a fungicide as would be the norm probably the last week of July that will be furlong at a litre to the hectare again at that stage I'll put on boron you pretty much can't put too much boron on beet and going again at that stage tends to help sugar levels in the plant which aren't necessarily helping yield but they're helping the feed quality of the beet.